It has been a long few weeks of trying to get uh, this boiler set up and running. And if you saw in the other episode, we had a manufacturing defect with our boiler and had to get a new one shipped. Well, today's the day the boiler has arrived. So we are going to pull this old boiler off the wall, rehook everything back up and get it back started. Let's get to it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Detach Garage. Today is hopefully the day. I'm not going to promise anything because we haven't pulled this off yet, but uh, today is the day we should get heat in the garage. And we've been down single digit temperatures. It was actually negative one for the low the other night. And so um, we are, we've been skating by, the garage is still above freezing, but we need to get this old boiler pulled off, put the new one up and get this thing fired up so we can keep working on some awesome projects in the garage like the two by 10 workout wall. So uh, let me flip the camera around. I'll show you what we got and I'll show you the plan for getting this boiler off the wall. All right, guys. So the biggest thing we need to figure out here is how to waste as little water glycol as possible when pulling the boiler off the wall. You can see the condensate hose has been slowly dripping and filling up. Uh, there is, you can see the blue where the condensate hose connects up there. There's still some uh, in the boiler there. And so uh, we need to get as much of this out as possible. So uh, we've got a few five gallon buckets here. So I think what I'm going to do is actually use this pump. Um, we're going to, the the line that flows back to the tank, we're gonna take that out of the tank and we are going to use the pump to pump out some fluid into the five gallon bucket that we can pour back in the tank when we get the new boiler up. So let's get this tank cleaned out. Let's clean up the area a little bit and then we will get start getting everything unhooked and start pulling this stuff off the wall.
All right, guys, so I'm not sure if you can hear it, but this is the sound of success. We have the boiler running and it is producing heat. So we've got our run back to septic here. We've got our condensate line coming in here. Uh, it creates a lot more condensation than you think. So um, we had to run to Home Depot to get the P-trap and the vent and everything. So uh, by the time we were back, it probably filled the five gallon bucket, probably about two inches or so. Um, we are 44 degrees in the garage and uh, it's set to 70. We probably won't let it get to 70. But the big thing is you can see here is we are cranking it right about 100 degrees or just under is the water uh, going out to the floor. So um, big, big news that we are running, the boiler's going and we have heat going in the floor. So um, a few more things we gotta do. We gotta tidy up this, uh, this line here. We also have a line uh, running to the cable right now that is for the outdoor temperature sensor. So what we're gonna do is, basically what this sensor does is when uh, it's warm out um, and really, really warm out, essentially it turns the boiler temperature down a little bit um, before, you know, and then if it's cold out, it cranks the boiler temperature up. So you're not overheating or underheating since this is such a large, uh, thermal battery, essentially such a large thermal mass that will just heat things back up. So, um, we're going to run, get the lift over here. We're going to drill a hole through the wall and kind of mount that underneath the covered patio. So it's not in direct sun. So the sun doesn't artificially, um, call, say the temperature is higher than it is. All right, guys, so let me give you a tour of the system. Uh, the boiler is running right now. You can probably hear it. Uh, so this is the heat exchanger. So this is the thing that failed on the uh, original boiler. So this is the brand new boiler. Literally, all we did was unhook everything and put this on the wall. So um, right now, you can see it's uh, heated to 88 degrees. Uh, we are just starting to warm the system up and keep it going. So. Um, we've got the thermostat over there and let me bring the scissor lift down a little bit and we can kind of give you a tour of everything that you can see. So, um, the condensate line is, uh, this valve here that runs down into, uh, this right here. And then the condensate runs over here. So if you hear water flowing, there is actually quite a bit of condensate that this uh, boiler creates. I gotta get this mounted still, but then this goes into the P-trap and then down into our septic um, down there. So then you have your um, uh, return water and your hot water out. So right now, uh, 87 degrees. So it's basically 87 uh, going out and through the system through this pump. So comes in here, any air escapes out this little valve here. That is, this is the uh, air separator, comes into here, goes through this pump, and then down into the manifold over here. So this is the hot water pipe, and then uh, it goes through all the pecs, comes out, comes back up, over, behind, and then back up and into the boiler over here. No leaks. Everything's going great. We've got our relay over here, which the thermostat tells the relay when to kick on. The relay tells uh, the boiler with this brown wire uh, when to kick the boiler on. And it also tells the pump and when to kick this pump on. Um, the other thing we did is we ran a outdoor sensor uh, up and out through the top of the wall. We mounted it outside and um, it uh, it will basically measure the out outdoor temperature and tell the boiler whether to kick the temperature up or kick the temperature down. So uh, that's what we're doing right now. Um, so let me get this cover back on and we will do the peel and reveal. So the cover is peeled off. We've got the cover off. We're bumped up to 99 degrees here. And you can see also the uh, pressure and water temp gauge uh, that's over here. So we're sitting uh, right around 20 PSI, 19 PSI. Um, through the whole system. And so uh, just bumped up to 100 degrees here. So the boiler will kind of uh, auto-regulate its temperature as it keeps putting heat into the floor and getting this giant slab uh, heated up.
So life goal achieved. This is absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to share more of you about the heated garage. This was a huge, huge step towards more time in the garage working on projects and more videos to help you guys build and design and plan your best garage that meets your garage goals. Again, if every garage in the world looked the same, had the same colors, had the same floor, had the same cabinets, had the same everything, it'd be a pretty boring place and it wouldn't fit your needs that every individual needs. So we will continue on with the workout room. We'll continue on with the mechanical room. We will continue on with the wash bay over here. There is a lot more to come. Thank you so much for watching Detached Garage. If you have any questions on the setup, please put them down in the comments below, and I hope to catch you on the next episode.